Hi, welcome back to Engine Shop Joe. You know when you have one of those problems that you think is just going to kill you? Well, we just got through one a while back. You saw the engine that almost killed us, the one we built. And uh, so here's another one. This one was in another branch and it was in a unit. It wasn't something that was rebuilt and it started having problems. So there'll be a couple other videos about this uh, engine. They're not going to be in order. Uh, this particular video is uh, it's basically called the bad brain and it's about a problem we found with the ECM and I'll show you what we found and uh, where and it's not something that's terribly obvious and at the end of the day I'm not positive that if there weren't other problems that we had to deal with we'll talk about in other videos the CCM might have functioned and been okay if it hadn't been pushed to extremes. And you'll see what I mean when we uh, get going here. So without further ado, let's take a look at the, uh, the bad brain on Engine Shop Joe. Sounds like a movie, doesn't it? So here's a quick look at the ECM. I know it's not to uh, scale for, the, for your win uh, window size, but you should be able to, if you follow my channel, know what we're looking at there. If that's a 2150, an 870, 871, 2250, what do you, CM platform that is. Okay, for those of you that guessed, this is a CM 2250 ECM. So there's a lot going on here. Let's try to make this um, as clear as possible. So up at the top, we have columns A and B. And the reason I've got those marked is A, I want you to know that the RPM stayed constant. B, I want you to know the engine operating state did not change. That means the engine is sitting there in this case, low speed governor state is idle. So it's sitting there and it's just idling. And it'd be like if the guy got out to go to lunch and left the truck running for a half hour. That's what this is doing. It's sitting and idling. So the fuel pressure should be stable nothing should be changing okay now this particular engine did have other problems in the fuel system we'll talk about those as time goes on uh, and it'll all make sense but what I've done we've had we had three or four different problems on this engine at the same time so this is one of the problems that we had to sort out and this particular problem was related to the ECM so now let's take a look at numeral one down on the bottom Numeral one is the signal voltage for fuel pressure. We rarely look at that, but we are in this case because on a normal running engine, signal voltage never equals circuit supply voltage. So the fuel pressure sensor is fed with five volts. Fuel pressure signal voltage should never be five volts unless A, the ECM is failing, B, the harness is shorting the signal wire to the five volt wire. Or C, possibly we lost, completely lost the ground. But uh, I'm not even sure about that with the solid state stuff these days, if it would matter. So we're seeing five volts. Number one, we shouldn't see it. Number two, signal voltage is in a direct relationship to signal pressure. So if you look up in that purple rectangle at the top of it, where the little red uh, kind of looks like a loose arrow is, you'll see the fuel pressure jump from 7,000 to 26,900. And the signal voltage jumped from 1.2 to 5 volts. Now notice the fuel pressure jumps from 26,800 to 31,000, and the signal voltage stays at 5 volts. So this has had a new fuel pressure sensor put on it. We know that the sensor is okay. It had the harness load tested. We know that's okay. So in this case, the ECM is either displaying or it's thinking it's reading five volts. And the fuel pressure is moving up and down from there. Uh, the other thing that's happening in this slide is the engine's idling and it's going from commanding 7,000 pounds of fuel pressure to 16,000 pounds, but in actuality, 
it's measuring between 7 and 31,000 because it's having a real-time controlling fuel pressure. So we're trying to figure out whether it's the ECM or whether it's a hard part or a harness or it's some kind of maybe an AC voltage floating uh, in a DC circuit because an alternator diode's leaking, something like that. So this is definitely a tough one. Next thing I want you to look at is that green rectangle right in the center. And you that is encompassing the fuel actuator's commanded current. And the more current we send to the fuel actuator, the less fuel pressure we can make. So current supplied to the actuator on the injection pump cuts fuel pressure back. If you remove current, it drives fuel pressure up. Fuel pump actuator duty cycle. That actuator on the pump does not receive a direct DC voltage. It receives a pulsed voltage. So the duty cycle is time off versus time on. So at 33, you could say that 33% of the time it's on. When it's 38, 38% of the time it's on. And down in the center where it's 25, it's only on 25% of the time. When it's on 38% of the time, it's trying to lower the fuel pressure. When it's on 25% of the time, it's not so sure it wants a lower fuel pressure. It wants to raise it. So if you look where we went to 25 on the duty cycle, look to the right at the measured current, and it's 1,500, and it drops down below that to 1,125. And there, it's really trying to build fuel pressure. If you look over to the right, the command is 16,000, and we're measuring 31, and it's trying to build fuel pressure. So that tells me that the fuel pressure signal voltage even though we can't see it on the graph, is probably not stable. It's fluctuating or the chip that's measuring it has got a problem. And so we thought we need to change that ECM and see if it, it solves this problem. So we did end up ordering in an ECM and changing it. And it did solve the voltage problem and it stabilized what was happening with the fuel pressure. It did not fix the overall problem which was low power on, a, on hills and a check engine light and 559 faults. But we'll be looking that, at that down the road because that's enough for this video. Thanks for joining me on Engine Shop Joe. Be sure to subscribe and tell your friends. See you next time.